up everybody? It's Crab Gamer here with the review for Ghostbusters the game. Even though this game came out last year, it's one of those games you can pick up pretty cheap for about, you know, used at GameStop between 12 and 18 bucks usually. Um, definitely worth it in my opinion. Uh, back in the day when I was a kid, Ghostbusters was a huge thing for me, you know, growing up. I remember watching the movies and stuff like that. Uh, just just a real good time takes me back to a real good place in my life I remember being a kid and being able to stay up late when I was on TV and my parents would order me a pizza sub and I'd have some popcorn and things like that and it was just a real good time and I, I loved the first two movies so much I thought they had really good writing and acting and it was clever and all the things you like about a movie and so I really enjoyed the movies um, the first one better than the second one but I didn't totally hate the second one um, and I always wondered why there wasn't a third movie um, and they did so many of these games, and the original games for Ghostbusters are really, really, really bad. Um, if anybody remembers the one on the NES, the first one, and you beat it, and it said, Congratulations, and it was just misspelling. And it was like, You've beaten a great game, and it was just like totally a ripoff. And I remember playing that game and just being disappointed in the whole game. And and so now when I heard that there was going to be a new Ghostbusters game, I was kind of really excited. And basically, this Ghostbusters game is the third movie. If you ever learned anything or heard anything about Dan Aykroyd, what he said about making a third movie, they wanted to take Ghostbusters to hell and do like all these dimension hopping and portal hopping and going to different dimensions and things. But the problem was, back in the early 90s, this stuff wasn't really feasible um, and cost effective it, there was no way a real way to do it because special effects haven't really caught up to things until really lately to where you could do stuff like this in a movie and uh, even so if you think about Avatar and stuff that costs a lot of money the most expensive movie ever made to do stuff like that so in retrospect this is definitely the third movie in the franchise all the original voice actors are there uh, you're basically play, play as a rookie. This takes place right after the second movie. Um, you, you play a nameless rookie and you interact with all the original cast members and things like that. So Ray, Pete, Egon, and uh, <clears throat> and Winston are all here. All the original voice actors are back. Um, even some other people. Alyssa Milano plays the main character in here. So it's like heavy hitters when it comes to the voice acting. Really well done. Um, like the original mayor and things like that are all in there. You get to fight Stay Puff. You get to fight um, the librarian. You get to do all that stuff. You get to upgrade your materials. There's a really nice online aspect for Xbox Live. Um, it's just really well done. The graphics are spectacular. Some of the best I've seen. I mean, it's just like a movie. You kind of sometimes get lost in it. That's what I did my first playthrough. I kind of just got lost in just watching the movie and was like, wanted to hurry up and get through the next part so that I could get to the next cutscene because that's how intense and how good the story was. So I just, I was just really blown away by it. Um, like I said, the graphics are phenomenal. Voice acting is amazing. All the voice actors sound the same. Um, you know, there's a few little puzzles. There's different upgrades and things like that you can get. Just a really, really great game, uh, especially one that you could pick up for cheap now. Um, yeah, you can see the scores up there. And I, I give this four fucking teabags out of five. Just really good. I would give it five out of five, but those are for the really, really elite games. But this is definitely not bad. This is Crab Gamer, and this has been my review of Ghostbusters. Peace.